So as a, as a prosecutor, you're looking at it from a neutral standpoint. You don't want to have any c conclusions about guilt or innocence, but you're looking for indications that pop up. The things that popped up right away was the fact that she never asked about her kids or the time or the manner of, uh, of uh, attempted murder. That, to me, was like a resounding red flag of, of alarms indicating mm -hmm. she had to have known what happened because those are, a normal person would not let those questions go unanswered. The protection of her own kids, mm -hmm. that would be number one, and that was not brought up till much later in the interview. And so that, that to me, showed planning and, and consciousness of guilt. Did she admit it? No, but you got that's even more... Mm -hmm. That's even uh, more credible in a lot of ways than if somebody said, yeah, I saw her, uh, you know, there at the scene or something like that. But the fact that she was seen by a police officer at the scene of the crime, I think an hour later or so, to me, that's really damning. Is okay. It? So as a prosecutor, what I was looking at was how close was she to the scene? Okay. If, she, if it was like a couple houses away and she could tell that there was cars, police cars parked in the driveway of Dan Markell's house, then that's something that, yes, absolutely. The fact she didn't question the officer and just did that quick turn and, and escaped out of there, that, that, would, um, that would be very helpful to know. But if it was like where the, all the way back to where the intersection of that street and Trescott was, or Trescott, and the, I forget the other name of that street, but if that was the case uh, way back there where you can't see the house is not in view, which I believe was the case, then I don't, I think the fact she's going in that direction is a, is a strong clue, but it's not as a strong clue Fair as enough. if she actually was saw the cops in front of the house.